With me, I'm a prophet. I was treating a lot of people. And by that time, when Museveni took over, they found that I'm Kola Lisa Kwena. And I met the government. By the time I prophet, the spirit prophet to them that if they go in Gulu, Kidum, Old Vaya, Northern, and West Nile, they will find no war. The spirit came and, and lifted her up, and later she came with the, with the Bible. Eh? Then, at that moment, she immediately went what? To, to my son Fall, where she stayed there for 40 days in the water. And then later she came back and she started feeding people, uh, casting demons, and doing a lot of uh, miracles. A lot of people saw this miracle. And they asked, what is happening? They say that you wait for her at midnight. The first miracle, even me personally, because me, I was not even able to talk, but at the moment I can speak well. That's the first miracle. The second miracle I was having my sister, who is also a deaf, she cannot hear, but she work on her and she's even here and well at the moment. I've written to him saying that a lot of people is dying with a disease. I must go and serve them. Only that there is no response from him. I don't fear. I've no because if they wrote to me, they don't want to see me here. I would have waste my time. It's the government of Kenya who deceived me to come here, and they dropped me here. Yes, they see me. You can see me here. Some people believe that Lakwena was insane, but a clinical psychiatrist who was part of the Ugandan delegation that visited her in 1999 concluded that she was sane, seemed intelligent, manipulative and responsible for her actions, but suffered delusions of grandeur and was obsessed with sex. Wanted to see her body. We were very disappointed because uh, according to the report from Nairobi, the body was embedded. But to our surprise, when we opened it, they found that there was only post-mortem done, but the body was not embedded at all. So Mulago Medical School had to start all over again. He was sad, of course, when he has to die, he's going to communicate with him. Thank you.